Good evening everybody, it's me Paddy from Across the Shock. You're very welcome back to the channel. And this is the happy day of the month. Or, you know, maybe a wee bit down this time. But, um, like I always said, when I do reviews, I tell the truth. It doesn't matter whether you get the knife for free or not. And I get this knife for free. Heads up, I get it for nothing. But I don't know whether this would be a deal breaker for you. There's a problem with this this uh, new arrival and we'll get to it as we go along and um, maybe you can spot it in the way but this is how the the knife this is what you get in the knife it comes in a beautiful black uh, sorry it actually comes in a, a hardened case black um a white box then you get the jack wolf's beautiful embossed box with the story about ben's grandfather who the company is named after jack wolf and then this is what you get inside. The color of this is beautiful. It's like purple and pinks. It's really nice. And this is called the Low Drag Jack. And this is a take on uh, sort of Miami Vice sort of thing. He's in his low drag car going along the Sunset Strip. Beautiful Jack Wolf in his uh, white shirt there. Really nice. I can just see Ben in that car with him. But really the artwork again, Sean Tiffany. Um, there's, you can read a bit about him on there. I'll tell you how to follow him on uh, the interwebs. Fantastic. Love this. Really lovely. Inside you also get the Pog. Again, I'm a bit too old. I have never heard of them or never had. But it's a nice little keeps you a little cardboard Pog, which is nice. And you also then get this beautiful big sticker, Miami Nights. Oh, I was close. Oh, there you go now. That was just a guess. I just took this out and put it in the table. Um, I was more concentrating on something else. So that's beautiful. I love that. The little pog, the great big sticker, which will go with the rest of mine. A lovely dark blue uh, microfiber cloth. I love this. And these are by no means small. This is a fantastic big carbon fiber, carbon fiber, for goodness sake. A beautiful big cloth that goes with it. I'll start setting some of this over there. And then you get the lovely leather sheath. And sorry, the knife is rolled up in the cloth, but I always take them out because I can't resist it. Most of the time I take them out to have a quick look. And this one I was dying for. It looked like it was going to be one of my favourites. It still might be, but there is a problem. And that's that's it. I mean, I said I was going to be, there is a problem. I'm, I'm going to get to the good things. These are all the good things first. This is a beautiful leather street. I'll run you through the knife. Just pay attention if you can. To the video and see if you can spot what the thing is and whether it would affect your your buying power you know because again you know there's a lot of haters out there they want something to be wrong and i've got something wrong and i, I just hope that it doesn't reflect badly on ben but i know he would want me to to take this and do it live rather than just i've not contacted ben whatsoever so inside this beautiful slip you have this beautiful jungle uh carbon fiber jungleware carbon fiber it is gorgeous i just gave one of these away in my giveaway uh not one of these knives the this a knife that had this jungle carbon fiber on and so i was so glad when i got because we we have no idea what we're getting i'm so glad that i got this and I replaced it because i loved that knife uh, and if you go back a video you can see it was won by somebody in northern ireland for the first time and I'm just was so happy to give it to him by hand I can't tell you how much I enjoyed that uh, nearly all my ones would go to the states or whatever but I got a homegrown winner which I'm really pleased for and it's somebody I knew and um, so there you go this is the knife it is beautiful looking absolutely beautiful i'm not doing an in-depth review we'll talk a little bit about the knife i'll show you the imperfection and you decide do i send this back or do i you know just suck it up and and keep it this is a teardrop jack a beautiful teardrop jack uh, and it's a pattern that i actually really love and most knife makers will make a teardrop jack this is about three and three quarters inches closed absolutely beautiful fit and finish on the back is just as normal just perfect it really is just perfect look at this beautiful look at just look how well that is done the blade sits down low you can't touch it at all it's perfectly set in there 
And the way he has done this, this is nearly like the cathedral end. Um, it's It comes to a point, a beautifully sharp point. But rather than having, he had said, he had sent us a wee video saying that there was a bit of a hot spot there. So he chamfered. He got them to go back in and chamfer these ends off. Both sides, both chamfered. And it looks like uh, the, the head of a doorway into a cathedral. I just think it is beautiful. Lined bolster there, or cap, and a lined bolster up here. Everything else is beautiful. The fit and finish on it is just immaculate. The blade centering is just exactly up the middle. Really is incredibly up the middle. Now, this is set lower in the handle because it's a smaller knife and it's a fat spear. So it had to be, it had to sit down low. Can you pinch it? Absolutely with ease. It's amazing because it's a full hollow grind. If you grab just exactly where the, the, the nail neck is, you don't have to use it. You can pinch and because of the, the upswept nature of it, it comes to the top and it's easy pulled out. Maybe not as easy as others, but it really is easy. It's not a problem. You don't have to have super grip. You just pinch in there and lift. This, the, the swoop, you can see how nice that hollow ground is. Really beautiful and a fat spear with a shape that is, it's, it's sort of, when I opened it up, it sort of threw me for a minute. I, I sort of stretched my arms out to look at it and say, God, you know, do I really like that? The answer is, I really, really like that. I really, really like that. And a beautiful, beautiful, just a hollow grind leading to a thin edge. I'll do the measurement before they do. I want to do cutting. But the biggest thing, and this is the biggest thing that's separating this from all the other ones he has. One that there's this little fault we're going to have to get to, but the biggest thing, the biggest plus for this knife is change the blade steel. And if you haven't heard, it is S90V. What a fantastic upgrade. No difference in price. Fantastic upgrade to me. I think it is a, a much greater uh, edge retention blade steel. Um, I've only ever had one S90V and I loved it. So I'm dying to test this. And the way that this blade she shield... Good gosh, Stephen. See, I'm getting excited again. It's that day where I get so excited and I can't bring myself down. The shape of this full belly here is amazing. I would say as a cardboard slayer, it's going to keep all the material heading this way. Just keep it inside. It'll be amazing. And I can't wait to see how the, M the S90V holds up under a bit of testing. And I will do that before the review. But honestly, the blade grind, the, the actual grind of the, the edge is just amazing. Very thin behind the edge, as normal. Although it's maybe not as thin as... as oh, God, I nearly cut myself just rubbing the side of it. more. It, it's bitey. S90V is bitey. And this is really, really... Um, uh, listen, you can... Can you hear that? It's even coming across the blade. It wants to bite in and cut. Um, I know a lot of people don't like this, but I do. So there. That's it straight out of the box. Oh, it is just... See the way that just... It's going to keep everything in there. It is just stunning. Straight down. Absolutely perfect. Really great fit and finish on that blade. And I don't know whether anybody has spotted, look at this carbon fiber, this green carbon fiber. I loved it. I was so sorry to let that go. But I'm going to have to tell you now that the, the problem I have, and I don't know, I mean, it's an expensive knife, and I understand people have been trying to find something wrong with one of these knives from the beginning, and it's incredibly difficult. At, at an extremely tiny, tiny, and at such a tiny percentage, have had any problems whatsoever. All have been fixable. This one, I said I was going to be honest, and I'm going to be honest. So, this knife, oh dear, dear. Sorry, Ben, but I have to be truthful. I want to just show the state that it actually came in. Look at this box. It has been crushed, and a line, a parallel line to the side of the box, has been crushed in it in delivery. And I, I don't know whether you would accept that. It's a, I know it's an outer box, but it's part of the package. And as we say, we all love this package. But that is disgraceful. Um, 
I know there's not a lot Ben could have done with it, but I, I'm in two minds. Uh, let me know down below if you think I should return this and get a new box for the outer casing. <laughs> is there a problem with it? Is there buggery? There's no problem with it. This is an absolute belter. It is now in my top three, and it will be joined by... <laughs> Sorry for that, but I couldn't resist it. There's so many haters out there waiting for something to go wrong, and... Ben's just putting out a, and his company every year are putting out fantastic blades. And that's what we want. That's why you're paying the big bucks. This is just stunning. There's it with a cyborg, Jack. One of my top three. Here it's with my other fat spear. The K9, Jack. One of my top three. And this is now in my top three. It has moved the other knife out. And it's now, look at these. I love a fat spear. But look at the difference. Subtlety, you see, he, he takes a knife, it's thinner, you can see by the bolster there, but he has made a super fat spear, which is, the depth is almost the same, well, in fact, it's exactly the same by the looks of it, as the, the K9, but he's brought it down into this narrower um, Ricasso area here. It is just gorgeous, really, really gorgeous. And I love all three of these have different handle shapes, which makes it really perfect. The Fat Spear, to me, is the best all-round knife blade. Uh, this aesthetically is just amazing. So there's my new top three, and there's the new Jack Wolf. The review will be coming soon. I'm sorry if I led you on. And for the haters out there, I'm not sorry I led you on. This is a man who's out there trying to do the best for us, and everybody tries to knock people down when they're doing well. And the fact is, he's doing well. This knife is stunning. And it's like all the rest. The fit, the finish is as close to perfection as I've ever had. So, Ben, thank you very much. I'm sure his heart was in his mouth, bless him. Because he does, he gets that effect that he would hate something to be wrong and he would fix it immediately. And that's a good dealer. That's a good, that's a good company owner. But this is just, ah, I can't tell you how pleased. In the hand, beautiful. Because he chamfered this spot off, no hot spot. He caught it before it came out, got it done. I just adore it. It is just beautiful. And I know I'm going to love it. I know I'm going to love it. The S90V, well, let's see how that stands up. I don't know. Uh, but I'll do a lot of cutting with it and I'll come back and I'll let you know what it's like. But Ben, it's just another fantastic. It's an, your interpretation of a pattern that's very well known, but you have added that something extra to it that is worth all the design money and time. I love it. So I'm away. Sorry for the bit of a tease, but hey, it's fun. It makes a good video. Cheerio. Take care. Buddy's away. Can't wait to do the review on this. I can't wait to use it. It's in my pocket now. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.